Welcome to Fullerton College Volleyball on KBPK. We're live from the Hornets' nest on the campus of Fullerton College as the Hornets take on Santa Ana. I am Wesley Putney alongside Jenny Kim. Last week, the Hornets played against Golden West and lost 3-0. Santa Ana College played Irvine Valley and also lost 3-0. Some of our key players from Fullerton College, we have Sophia Chua with 56 kills and Amelia Haas with 119 assists. For Santa Ana College, we have Camille Beer with 65 kills and Madeline Castillo with 198 assists. The starting, the starting lineups for Santa Ana for Santa Ana College is number two Taylor Vigana, number seven Roxanne Castillo, number eight Madeline Castillo, number eleven Camille Beer number 13, Karen Salazar, and number 18, Lily Chavez. For Fullerton College, it's number one, Emily Finnegan, number two, Quinlan Vu, number seven, Kimmy Gonzalez, number eight, Sophia Chu, Chua, number 10, Amelia Haas, and number 13, Izzy Hernandez. The, the visiting team is Santa Ana, and the home team is Fullerton College. Wesley, what are your thoughts or expectations on this game today? Having both teams, FC having an overall 1-0, to zero, and Santa Ana having an overall 2-7. to seven. Hopefully Fullerton can come out and hopefully string together a win. It would be a good morale booster. I agree. And some changes on the court, Fullerton College. Number, f uh, sorry, number four, Mariah Williams. Number six, Angie Alvarado. And number 15, Jocelyn Lopez. And a serve from Madeline Castillo. And a quick start for Santa Ana as they get the kill. And Madeline Castillo with the serve. And the point goes to Fullerton. The, sc the score is Santa Ana two and the Hornets won. Angie Alvarado with the serve. Jenny and Wesley, you saw a nice dig dive by Angie Alvarado on the back. But Sophia Chu off the set from Amelia Haas couldn't finish, hit it long. And so that point goes to Santa Ana. It's now three to one, Dons. And number 11, Camille Beer with the serve. That was a great ace done by Sophia Chua. And the score is, is the Hornets two, Santa Ana three. Number 15, Jocelyn Lopez serving. A 
A very nice defensive play by Fullerton. And it is Santa Ana with the point. And the score is Santa Ana four, Hornets two. Lily Chavez with the serve. And Fullerton with a great play there. Emily Finnegan did a great job catching that ball in the right time. Kobe Kaihara with the serve. And Chu that time tried to kill it. She was met at the top of the net by Roxanne Costello and Madeline Castillo, but their block attempt came wide. That was great fast thinking on Sofia Chua's part. And it is number 14. It is Kobe Kaihara with the serve. And another good play by Fullerton. And that was a net violation by Santa Ana. And the score is Santa Ana four, Hornets five. Kobe Kaihara with the serve. Now, if that serve did make it in, that was a great velocity. And it, and it went long on that one, so Santa Ana ties it at five with Vagana on the serve. Madeline Castillo with a great serve. And that was a nice tip by Amelia Haas to find the empty spot on the Don side. And the score, Santa Ana five, Hornet six. So Izzy Hernandez will be doing the serving. She's the team's leader in service assist as they have a six to five lead. Vagana <laughs> Castillo and hitting it long was Lily Chavez. So it went goes to Fullerton, seven and the, to five. And the, the hit was just long there. And it is Izzy Hernandez with the serve. It seemed that serve was a little long, so the point goes to Santa Ana. Score is Hornet seven, guest six. It is Karen Salazar back to serve. That was a great block by Roxanne Costello from Santa Ana. Very quick on the ball. Yep. Score. Hornet seven, Santa Ana seven. Alvarado with a long attempt and that goes out. So it's now eight to seven in favor of the Dons. So you see good action out there as Karen Salazar will do the serving for the Dons. Kaihara has it go off the side of her hand, out of play. Another point, Santa Ana. And the score is nine to seven in favor of Santa Ana. And back to serve is Karen Salazar. That was a great play by Fullerton. Amelia Haas was a big part of that, making sure the ball went over and wasn't received back. And the score, Santa Ana nine, Hornet seven. Vu checks back in for Lopez. And that's Finnegan on the serve. Nice save. And the ball goes out of bounds there for Fullerton. 
That was a great attempt by Angie Alvarado from Fullerton, though, trying to keep that ball alive. Score, Hornets 8, Santa Ana 10. And it is Roxanne Costello on the serve for the Dons. The defensive attep attempt by Izzy Hernandez comes up just short as the ball doesn't go over the net. And the score is Santa Ana 11, the Hornets 8. And no touch that time by Izzy Hernandez on that back row. So point goes to Fullerton on the kill attempt as you reset the lineup for the Hornets. Haas, Alvarado, Vu, Kaihara, Kaihara, excuse me, Lopez, and Hernandez. They're in blue on your right for Santa Ana. Serving is Costello. Here's Kaihara. Haas sets Alvarado. Good dig by Beer. Here's on the back row, Vagana. Dug out. And that is long by Alvarado. 13 to eight now, Santa Ana serving. So we'll, we'll and Number what do you guys see on this next play as Kaihara saves it and over from Alvarado. Attempt and is a good block by attempt. Haas. Haas sets it up. Block attempted by Quinlan Vu, but and the point goes to Santa Ana. And the score is 14, Santa Ana 14, the Hornets 8. And there's a timeout taken. called by Fullerton College. In the first set, the score is Santa Ana 14, Hornets and 8. The you are watching Fullerton College Volleyball on KBBK. So in this first set, it's really Santa Ana who's putting the pressure on the Hornets if they come into this match at two and seven overall. Fullerton one and 10 overall, both and haven't won yet in the OEC. And I'd like to introduce our officials for this game. Emma Pearson, Miles Furia, Shannon King, Johnny Freimeyer, and Catherine Smith Mahoney. It is the first set. The score is Santa Ana 14, the Hornets 8, and Back to serve is number seven for Santa, Roxanne Costello. And on the, the court for Fullerton College, we have Quinlan Vu, Sophia Chua, and a, and a, a hit there by, by Quinlan Vu to make the score 14, Santa Ana 14, the Hornets 9. And back to serve is Amelia Haas. Lopez takes it in the chest and this was going to be long from Hernandez. Here's Vagana from the 10 foot line, finds the hole between Haas and Hernandez and puts up the 15th point for the Dons here in the first set. So Castillo will do the serving. She's joined by Salazar, Chavez, Beer, Costello, and Vagana. Here's Hernandez, Haas, Alvarado from the far side, tipped Castillo. Beer with another put away. That's number three for Camille Beer. And Jenny, what'd you see on that? I saw that Santa Ana 
made sure the ball was going to go in and find a hole in the Fullerton College team. And Wesley, what should Phil, what must Fullerton do to get back into this set? They've just got to start stringing points together and hopefully, hopefully defend some of these shots. And another hit error that time by Alvarado, and it's now 17 to nine in favor of the visiting Dons. On that left side of your screen, on KBPK, and it's number eight, Madeline Castile, back to serve, and the ball hits the net. And that's going to be a point for Fullerton to make it Santa Ana 17, the Hornets 10. I think the Hornets are making a great attempt, and they're keeping up with Santa Ana. And it is Angie Alvarado back serving for the Hornets. And that time, the ball goes out. Camille Beer hits it out. And that makes the score 17, Santa Ana 17, the Hornets 11. And number six, or Angie Alvarado hits it that time. And another service error, so it's now 19 to 11 in favor of Santa Ana. Or excuse me, 18 serving 11. Beer. Beer back to serve, and the ball hits the net. So that's gonna be an error in score for Fullerton. So Fullerton is now serving 12 to 18. Back to serve is Jocelyn Lopez. And it was not, Santa Ana was not able to receive it back. That was a great point by Fullerton. And it's Jocelyn Lopez back to serve. And Fullerton blocks it at the net. By Emily Finnegan and Mariah Williams. The score right now is Santa Ana 19, Hornets 13. Lily Chavez back to serve. And that was in. Point goes to Santa Ana. Score right now is Santa Ana 20, Hornets 13. And if you notice, Santa Ana is only playing with seven players because that's all they have in uniform tonight. Lily Chavez serves it and a save. And that's gonna be an ace for Chavez. So now 21 serving 13. Chavez on the serve. Second consecutive ace for Chavez. Another ace. And the score is Santa Ana 22, Hornets 13. Chavez trying to close it out here in this first set. Chavez serves it away. Amelia Ha sets it up, and Chua bumps it over. And that was a little long by Santa Ana, giving the points to the Hornets. Score right now is Santa Ana 22, Fullerton College 14. Kobe Kaihara back to serve. And Kobe Kaihara serves it away. And the ball is out. The score is Santa Ana 22, the Hornets 15. And Kobe Kaihara serves it away.
Costello leaves it for Castillo. Nice dig by Salazar, excuse me, Alvarado. Chua tries to finish, and she does. A good back and forth by both teams. And it's Fullerton now serving 16-22. Kaihara, she's got three straight points for Fullerton with the serve. A lot of great blocking in this game, too. And Kobe Kaihara serves it away. Ha sets it up. And a little long for Sophia Chua. So score. the point the point goes to Santa Ana that time. The score is Santa Ana 23, the Hornets 16. Sophia Chua hits it a little long again this time. Point goes to Santa Ana. Score is 24, Santa Ana, Hornets 16. And back to serve is Madeline Castilla. And that was blocked by Finnegan and Chua. So the point goes to Fullerton that time to make the score Santa Ana 24, the Hornets 17. So set point here for Santa Ana. Izzy Hernandez is back to serve it away. And that's gonna do it for the first set. And the score is Santa Ana 25, Hornets 17. We're end of first set. This is Fullerton College Volleyball on KBBK. So the end of the first set here at the Hornets Nest between Santa Ana and Fullerton. Both teams looking to get off and get their first victory in the OEC. Yeah, Corey, and one of the big things between both of these two sides is it's a historic rivalry, whether it be volleyball, whether it be baseball, football, softball, it's always a rivalry time between Santa Ana and Fullerton whenever both of these two teams get together. And when you take a look at both of these two teams, Corey, yes, we're seeing them live on the court, but when it comes to Fullerton College Volleyball, if fans are watching along at home and they say, hey, you know what, we love Fullerton College Volleyball, we want to see more of it, well, you can stay tuned right here to KBPK, as KBPK is actually going to be following Fullerton College Volleyball throughout the entirety of this season. We've got a couple more dates that we're going to be out here, uh, here at the Hornet's Nest covering the Fullerton College women's volleyball team. And we also want to remind you that we have a lot of stuff coming up here on KBPK that doesn't just revolve around sports. Yes, we do have a lot of sports that we have been live streaming, and we love to be out here at the Hornet's Nest, also at Howe Sherbeck Field as well. But we also want to promo a couple of things that are coming up for KBPK that you can take a look at, not just live here with like Football Fridays, Volleyball Wednesdays as well, but also Water Polo on Wednesdays coming up. But we also want to promo World College Radio Day, which is coming up just around the corner. It's about, oh, what, we'll call it about a week away or so. And if you're looking for an opportunity to kind of say, hey, you know, yes, on my drive to work, on my drive back home from work doing errands, I can listen to any radio station. I can, you know, pop up any music I would like. But instead, I want to support the local college radio station in my life. Well, you can do so by supporting KBPK. We've got a lot of fun stuff coming up for next week as World College Radio Day will be live here on KBPK. If you want to watch the content that we're going to produce coming up here online, you stay with our YouTube page. That is YouTube. And then you take a look at the overall, excuse me, not the overall background, but you take a look at the stream letters. It is youtube.com slash KBPK. That will take you right to our YouTube page, or if you're watching online, you just realize, Ryan, what are you talking about? I'm already here. Well, you stay here with the YouTube page, and you keep up to date with the content coming up. Also, if you want to go to the TuneIn app, just search KBPK. We will pop up, and you can listen to World College Radio Day as we get set to celebrate not just us here at KBPK, but college radio stations, not just across the country, but all across the world. 
This is Hornet Volleyball on KBPK. I am Adrian Estrada alongside Maddie Smith. With our set score, winning the first set, Santa Ana College won. Oh. And our set lineup for today's game, starting off with the Santa Ana College Dons, we have Taylor Vagana, Roxanne Costello, Madeline Castillo, Camille Beer, Karen Salzar, and Lily Chavez. And for our Fulton College Hornets lineup, we have Emily Finnegan, Quinlan Wu, Angie Alvarado, Kimmy Gonzalez, Sofia Chua, Amelia Haas, Izzy Hernandez, and Jocelyn Lopez. Starting off with Amelia Haas setting it up, on over to the Dons. Going over to the Dons with Quinlan Wu going for the set, scoring a point one zero to the Hornets. Amelia Haas getting ready for the second serve. Going on over to the Dons, passing it around for the kill, going out of bounds towards the Dons. It's out of bounds offside. 3-0 to the Hornets already. Amelia Haas going again for the serve. Over to the Dons, passing it around. Tapping it over to the Hornets. Amelia Haas with the set. Quinlan Wu with the try to tap, but unfortunately she couldn't, so on over to the Dons. We saw a nice dig by Roxanne Costello, and then it almost saved by it, almost tap by Quinlan Vu, but it was failed, so that point went to... We have Karen Salazar going for the serve. With Amelia Haas. Vu trying to get a point as she does. And... Subbing in Sofia Chu, number eight, and out goes Izzy Hernandez. Andrew Alvarado on over to the Don. Setting it up for Kimmy and Mariah Williams going for the kill. Unfortunately, hits it out of bounds, going towards the Dons. 4-2 is the score. Hornets up. We have Lily Chavez going on over, serving it to the Hornets. Mariah Williams. Angie Alvarado trying to get it over, unfortunately hitting the net. Score is getting a little bit closer. Four to three, Hornets up. Amelia Haas for assist. Over to Mariah Williams, who just slightly taps it over the defense. Five three to the Hornets. Jocelyn Lopez getting ready for the serve. Over to the Dons. Setting it up for, oh. Setting it up, Jocelyn Lopez striking it down, Sofia Chua. Five to four for the Hornets. Taylor. Over. Amelia Haas setting it up. Sophia Chua for the kill. Dons with passing it around. Nice block from Mariah Williams. Getting it over. Trying to save the ball. Unfortunately, can't. Nice hit from the Dons. This first set was won by Santa Ana Dons, and another win that we've had from the Santa Ana Dons is by the Fulton, or the football, excuse me, football team. They played Santa Monica College a couple weeks ago, and their rec record breaking one of the scores by Jackson Smith on a 95 yard run to break that score for the school. Just like the first set, it's been going back and forth. Now the Don's up six to five. Mario Williams tapping it over. Nice block from Sophia Chua and uh, Emily Finnegan. 
You can tell how hard that ball was hit by the spin that came from it after. It was just. And the sound was very loud. Yeah, it was very Coming loud. Over here too. Taylor Vagina. Sophia Chu passing it to Haas for the kill. Maya Williams unfortunately hitting the net. Going up by three now, Santa Ana College, eight to five. Setting it up, passing it around. Mariah Williams trying to get it over the net, but can't. Going to the Dons again, five to nine. We saw that even though that was a failed attempt to get the ball over the net, Mariah Williams did try and have a nice dig and save, and she did accomplish that. Yes, she did. Santa Ana College. Over to the Hornets. Haas setting it up. Trying to get it over. Can again. We have Santa Ana College. 10 to 5. Serving it again. Taylor Vagina. Passing it around. Haas with the setup. And. We have Taylor Vagina setting it up again. Passing it around, can they get it over? And they did with Emily Finnegan passing it on over. Setting it for the kill, unfortunately, Roxanne Castillo hitting it over. Kobe Kaihara. With the serve, getting ready. Perfect hit. That was a we nice save. It's a very nice save, and almost again, another save by the Dons. Kobe Kaihara serving it again. Over to the Dons. Repeats the same thing. We have the Santa Ana, Santa Ana College scrambling around. Haas with the setup. Finnegan almost getting it down with the kill, but hits it outside. We have Santa Ana College 12 to Fullerton College 7. There's so much hustle and footwork. I love it, and that they're able to hit the ball while turned around and still get it over the net. I'm loving it. It's great. Camille Beer getting ready for the serve. Passing it around. Haas with the Tapping it over, thought it was going to be a setup for someone, but she tricked the defense getting it over. We have Hornets 8, Santa Ana College 12. This is Hernandez with the serve, passing it around, setting it up. Trying to kill the ball, and she gets it. Santa Ana College gaining another point. We have Santa Ana College getting ready to serve on the ball. Roxanne Castillo getting it over. Emily Finnegan getting it over to the Dons, setting the ball up, barely getting it over. Haas with the setup. Angie Alvarado to the Dons. Ball hits the net, and that is going towards the Hornets. That was a blocked tip, and you see me so many times just this set, but this entire game, it seems like it's been played with all over on the line of the net. Fullerton gaining more points, catching up to Sinai College, 10 to 13. A strong hit from Karen Salazar, trying to get the save from Kobe Kaihara. But we have Madeline Castillo warming up for the serve. Nice hit on over to the Hornets. Passing it around, but goes over, setting up for a kill, tapping it over. 
but a point to the Dons. We have 15 to 10, Dons up. Castillo getting ready for the serve again. Over onto the Hornets. Passing it around. Vu with a hit. Angie Alvarado with a slap down towards the defense, gaining a point 11 to 15. Amelia Haas getting ready for the serve. On over. Passing it around. Setting it up. Oh, passing it around again. Set, trying to tap it over, but can't. Both of them tapping it. And with the Hornets coming out on top with that play. Again, so many rallies with just tapping the ball over each time. Pause again. Barely getting it over with the luck of the net. Gaining a point. Catching on up. 13 of 15 with the Santa Ana College still up. I was getting ready to serve. On over. Trying to get a dig. Karen Salazar. And unfortunately getting college with Fullerton College a point. And into a timeout timeout taken by um, Santa Ana Santa Ana College. This we are on the second set with the score of fourteen of fifteen, Santa Ana College up. And you are watching Fullerton College volleyball on KBPK. Izzy Hernandez, number 13, who leads the Hornets with 16 service aces, second on the team in assists with 43, and she is top nine in the OEC in service aces. Our head coaches for Santa Ana College is Mariah Kunipo Ag Aguirre, and it is her, her first season coaching. She played at Oregon and graduated from Cal State University, Long Beach. The assistant coaches is Jonathan Chavez Calderon, Lesona Johnson, and Coltran. We are on the second set with the score being 14 to 15. Fullerton College down. We have the Hornets serving. going for the kill, and she does. Taylor Vagana. And our head coaches for Fullerton College is Rena Smith, and this is also her first season. Um, our assistant coaches as well is Dina Schneier, which is her second season, and Jacob Vanderbeck, which is his first season. going for the kill, but Santa Ana passing it around on over to the Hornets. Pause with the setup. Mariah Williams is tapping it over, passing it around for, and with this old stadium, there's a lot of things on the top that the ball can hit, but still they have to play on. We saw that kill by Camille Beer, and if you didn't already know, she has 65 kills this season on her team. She has the most kills on all of her teams, so. Haas setting it up for Mariah Williams, blocking it. Setting it up again for Williams, tapping it on over. And we had Karen Salazar getting on over, gaining a point, 14 to 18, with Santa Ana College up. Karen Salazar again, over to the Hornets, passing it around, Haas, Williams taps it over on the line and point towards the Hornets. 15 to 18, the Hornets are catching up. With Izzy Hernandez going out and number eight, Sofia Chua coming in. Angie Alvarado with the set, over to the Dons, Karen Salazar, 
Haas setting it up. Chua for the kill. Didn't, doesn't get it. Karen Salazar tapping on over with a nice dig from Chua. And Alvarado trying to get it on over to the Dons and hits it out of bounds. I have to say, I think Sophia is the queen of digs. She's done so many this game and overall this season so far as well. She wants to catch up to Kimmy Gonzalez, who's the leading, gaining a lot this game, this match. Five, sent out of college, five up, 15 to 20. Lily Chavez for the serve. On over to the Hornets, barely getting over the net. Singing up for, and again, blocking it. Good stuff from Quinlan Vu, who gains a point. Narrowing the score to 16-20. Santa College still up. Over to the Dons, passing it around. Tapping it on over. Chua with a nice hit, strong hit. Nice save. Chua again. And they get it over with Santa Ana College scoring a point right there. 21 16. They're up. Again, not just scoring a point, but they got kills by Camille Beer. Taylor Vagana. Chua with the passing around. Haas trying to get it over. Unfortunately, we had Santa Ana College going up once again. 16-22. Serving it on over. Haas with the assist. Oh, getting it over. Fighting for it. Tapping it on over to the Hornets. Sophia Chua going for the nice hit. Again for Camille Beer, who tries to hit it hard, gets it, hits it on the side of the ball, which leads it to the Hornets scoring a point, 17-22. Santa Ana College up. Looks like the ball is just bouncing off their fingers each time, and it's super fun to watch and just it hitting them net every single time. Kaihara and over serving it. Tries to go for the ace. Hits it out of bounds. 23 for Santa Ana College. 17 for Fullerton College Hornets. Serving out over to the Hornets. Passing around. Trying to go for the kick. Emily Finnegan doesn't hit it. Camille Beer. One more point for Santa Ana College, and they win the second set. Passing it around, tapping it over for Karen Tyler's letter spike, and she gets the point. <coughs> the game score, 25 to 17. The set score, 2-0. This is Fullerton College Volleyball on KBPK. And so with that, with that, Adrian, you saw Fullerton put up an effort, but Santa Ana did a really nice job of keeping them at bay after Fullerton went on a little 4 nothing run to bring it to 16-13. to Then Santa Ana went on their run on a 9-3, to or excuse me, 9-4 to run to end this second set. And in that second set, who did you see that really performed well for both teams? Well, for our Hornets, Sophia Chuel making a valiant effort to score a lot of points. And for Santa Ana College, the Dons, we had Karen Salazar hitting a lot of hits. And Roxanne Castillo assisting the ball to her for getting a lot of points. And mm -hmm. I think... And also Taylor Vagana did, nice, did a nice job as well for the Dons. 
Yeah, and guys, you know, you're talking about this current volleyball matchup. Very quickly, I want to butt in and be able to say, hey, if you're watching online and you're thinking, okay, I love being able to tune in to KBPK when you guys do live sports and live events, and then also some of the programming that you put out on YouTube or also the Instagram page. Well, for everyone who doesn't know, we want to be able to invite you to our social media pages. You can stay up to date, all things KBPK, as you see on your screen, youtube.com slash at KBPK. That will take you right back here to this YouTube page where we've got a lot of different stuff going on. Not only do we have volleyball, we also have football Fridays. We also recently went over to the FC Art Gallery to kind of get an inside look on what the Art Gallery has to offer and all the different students and staff and their, their perspectives on what art means to them. Different selections, I believe, was actually the latest ex exhibition that they had at the FC Art Gallery. Different selections that meant something to them from the Fullerton College Permanent Collection. If you want to be able to check that out, check out art, check out sports, check out whatever's happening at Fullerton College, go to our Instagram page or our YouTube page. YouTube, once again, is youtube.com slash at KBPK. The Instagram is at 90.1 KBPK. And if you're more of a Facebook person, facebook.com 90.1 FM KBPK. I'm going to be back in just a little bit talking about what's coming up with World College Radio Day in addition to Dia de los Muertos here on KBPK. But for now, let's get you right back to the action. It's Fullerton and Santa Ana. This is Hornet Volleyball on KBPK. I am Adrian Estrada alongside Raymond Vasquez. Santa Ana College, two up in the sets. And we have for Fullerton College, we have number eight, Sophia Chua. Number two, Quinn Lan Vu. Number 11, Ariana Islas. Number 10 in the back, Amelia Haas. Number 13, Izzy Hernandez. And for Santa Ana College, we have number 18, Liz Lily Chavez. Number two, Taylor Vagana. Number eight, Madeline Castillo. And number seven, Roxanne Costello. First set was very intense. And let's see if they can keep the, the intensity in this third set. Amelia Haas with the serve over to the Dons. Passing it around, going for the strike. Camille Beer saving it, trying to get it. Ariana Islas couldn't get, couldn't reach to it. And for the first point to the Dons. We have Madeline Castillo with the serve. On over to the Hornets, passing it around. Haas with the assist. Islas with the strike. Passing it around again. Sofia Chua going for the strike. Nice block. And we had Ariana Islas trying to go for the dig. Couldn't quite get there. Two up to the Dons. Madeline Castillo, an astounding player, definitely broke 200 assists today. Getting ready for the serve. And Ariana Islas came in, number 11. Over to the Hornets. Izzy Hernandez unfortunately couldn't get there. Three up to the Dons. Santa Ana really trying to close it out in this third set. Currently 2-0 Santa Ana favor. Passing it around. Haas with a nice save. Getting ready for the strike. Izzy Hernandez tapping it around. This last on over to the Dons. Going for the strike. Saving it. Haas sending it for Vu, tapping on and over, hitting again, and Izzy Hernandez couldn't get there with Taylor Vagana, the nice tap to the corner. 
Madeline Castillo. Serving it again. She's had a nice record with the serves and aces. And setting it up for Camille Beer. Gonzalez, Vu, over to the Dons, tapping on and over, getting ready for the kill. Vagina, passing it around. Lopez, Vu, for the strike, getting it. With the first point to the Hornets, one to four, Santa Ana College up. Well, Fullerton still has a long way to go in this set and in this game. Yes, they do. First one, 25. Let's see if Fullerton College can get this set. Quinlan Vu serving for the Hornets. Over to the Dons. But the amazing serve with the Dons couldn't get the dig. And Vu getting ready again with the serve. She is very enthusiastic. Over to the Dons, setting it up for Vagana, striking it down with a nice hit. 5-2 for Santa Ana College. That was a beautiful hit right in the middle. Five players around, and none of them could get to the ball. Such a quick hit. Nobody couldn't react to it quick enough. Hitting the net with the serve. Three to five. And, and you can see that Santa Ana's Taylor Vagana was not expecting the bounce back from the net. Jocelyn Lopez with the serve over to the Don, setting it up. Trying to hit it hard, and she does, but she hits it out of bounds. Taylor Vagana. Vagana with the serve. Haas with the setup for hitting the net. Three to seven. The Don's up. Taylor Vagana getting ready for the serve again. Over to the Hornets. Hits it out of bounds this time. Couldn't quite get it like the recent tries. Four to seven. You have to wonder what Santa Ana is bringing in order to keep on track against Fullerton College, currently winning two out of the last sets. Kobe Kaihara serving it all over. Hits the net this time though. Couldn't quite get it over. Billy Chavez. Looking confident. Four to eight. Let's see. Over to the Hornets. Passing it around. Haas with the setup for Izzy Gonzalez. Hitting it over the defense. Striking it down. Karen Salazar. Gaining that point. Nine to four. Chavez over to her. Nice dig. Finnegan hitting on over to the Dons. Tapping it over the defense. Lopez setting it up. Gonzalez with a nice little tap over. Excuse me, that was Izzy Hernandez with a nice tap over. You can really feel the energy from Fullerton as they're trying to bring it back this set. Looks like they really want it. Trying to catch up. Izzy Hernandez over. Setting it up for Roxanne Castillo. And the Hornets gaining a point. One out. Izzy Hernandez getting ready. Let's see if she can get this. Barely out of bounds. And with six to nine, Santa Ana College being up. Tapping around. 
with Kobe Kaihara and Jocelyn Lopez going out for Sophia Chua, number eight. Emily Finnegan with the serve over to the Dons, setting it up, tapping it right over the defense. Emily Finnegan tries to save it with the dig, couldn't get it. 10 to seven, Santa Ana College. And that was a beautiful attempt by Finnegan. She really dove for the ball, trying to get it over to Santa Ana, but just not making it close enough. Sending it over to the Hornets. Haas making it go over, setting it up. Vagana. Quinlan Vu. On over to the Hornets. Joshua Lopez gets it. Sophia Chowau with Kobe Kahara making a great effort to get it over. Both of them blocking. And going over with a nice little passing it around. Nice block from Sophia Chua. Passing it around. Blue trying to get it over. Hitting the net barely. Santa College, Santa Ana College 11 and Fullerton College Hornets 7. You know it has to hurt both teams when they lose a point, either by going out of bounds or by hitting the net. And we definitely saw a lot of that in the first set. And in the second set too, Joshua Lopez trying to get over. Vu sending it over. Almost getting it out of bounds, setting it up for Vagana. Vagana again. Sophia Chua making an effort to save the ball. Getting a point for Santa Ana College. And you saw Fullerton's Amelia Haas really trying to help with that block, but along with Sophia Chua, just not managing. And by the way, our referees are Emma Pearson and Miles Furia. And um, the Hornets getting a point right there, hitting it out of bounds from Santa Ana College. We have Kobe Kahara subbing out for Ariana Islas. Amelia Haas sending it over to the Dons, setting up for Vagana, hitting it over the defense. Jocelyn Lopez setting it up with Ariana Islas, tapping it over, gaining a point for the Hornets. Nine to 12, Hornets nine, Santa Ana College 12. And we've really seen a lot of amazing dives, especially this last one from Camille Beerer from Santa Ana College. Setting it up over to the Hornets. Haas to Sophia Chua. Hitting on over with a strong hit to the Hornets, but gaining the Hornets a point, 10 to 12. Santa Ana's Lily Chavez, a sophomore currently. You can see the power and confidence that comes from experience in the collegiate level. Lilia Haas with a nice serve. On over to the Hornets, Lopez hitting it over with a nice smack, Camille Beer. And a campfire from Fullerton's Ariana Islas and Izzy Hernandez. And then the college's Madeline Castillo on over to the Hornets, passing it around. A little miscommunication there causing the Santa Ana College Dons gaining a point. Madeline Castillo locking up for the serve. On over, barely hitting the top of the net. Going on over to the Hornets, gaining a point. Bulletin College 11, Santa Ana College 14. Quinlan Vu looking very sharp. Over to the Dons. Setting it up. Hitting almost hard. Passing it around. Vu on over to the Dons. Passing it around. Vagana on over to the Hornets. Haas setting up for Chua. And gaining a point for Santa Ana College Dons. Amelia Haas and Sophia Chua, an amazing duo. Assists to kills. One leading assist, one leading kills. 
with Center College Dons. Hitting it strong on over to Jocelyn Lopez. And we see another sophomore from Santa Ana, number 11, Camila Beer. Her second year in college and good. The experience really showing. It is. Setting it up. Getting it right in between Quinlan Vu and we have Jocelyn Lopez coming out for Emily Finnegan. Camille Beer, a lot of great serves in all sets. Over to passing it around, big passes, high passes. Haas on over to setting it up. And Sofia Chua trying to get a nice block, hitting it towards out of bounds. You have to wonder what Fullerton's head coach, Rena Smith, is thinking right now, this being her first year at Fullerton College. Camille Beer trying to get good serves in as she was, but this time hitting the net. Hornets 12, San Ana College Dons 19. Sophia Chuel setting on over to the Dons, passing it around for Karen Salazar to hit. Haas with the setup for Emily Finnegan, tapping it barely over. She tapped it right over Vagana. Bargana. Sophia Chua. Looking strong with the serves. And calm. On over. Setting it up. With a nice strike with pause with a nice little dig. And Kimmy Gonzalez with a hit on over. But Santa Ana College. The ball hitting the antenna gives Santa Ana College another point. 2013. Passing it around Haas. Nice strike from Kimi Gonzalez with a nice save for the Dons. Setting it up. Karen Salazar with a nice hit. With Ariana Islas looking very passionately with that beautiful block. Well, she wasn't let, letting anything go over that net. Really trying to make sure that Def defense is locked down for Fullerton College for the rest of this game. Yes, and Ariana Islas coming out for Kobe Kahara with a nice serve. Setting it up for Roxanne Castillo, passing it around. Haas, Kimmy Gonzalez. Striking it hard, and a nice hit from Taylor Wagner. You have to wonder if it's Fullerton College's experience at the moment that's causing them, only having two sophomores opposed to Santa Ana's seven. Mm -hmm. Santa Ana College scoring. 21 Santa Ana College, 15 to the Hornets. Kimmy Gonzalez getting ready for the serve. Everyone looking very sharp. Passing it over, setting it up. And Sofia Chua with a nice Kaihara trying to get it over, hits it a little wrong, causing Santa Ana College getting a point. 22 to 15, Hornets down. Karen Salazar getting ready for the serve. Over to the Hornets, Sophia Chul. And Finnegan knocking on over, but Madeline Castillo hitting it right over the defense. Amelia Ha is really diving for that ball for Fullerton College, but just not being able to make it in time. Karen Salazar over to the Hornet, Sofia Chua. Almost getting it over the net. Couldn't quite get there. And Santa Ana College, 24, the Hornets, 15. Karen Salazar again with the serve. Match point. They're really fighting for it, but hitting the wall, going to the ground. And that's game. And with the game score of 
25 to 15. Santa Ana College, three. Fullerton College, zero. We really saw. You are watching Fullerton College Volleyball on KBPK. And just like you heard Adrian say, Fullerton College Volleyball here on KBPK. We thank you once again for joining us here tonight. Again, our final score, three sets to none. That's a final and a win for Santa Ana over top of Fullerton College. So not only will that do it for us here tonight, but very quickly before we get on out of here, I do want to remind everyone that coming up on Friday at 3 p.m., Fullerton College soccer, men's soccer, is going to be playing, and we will carry that right here live on KBPK's YouTube page. So once again, Football Fridays, not at 6 p.m., but at 3 p.m. That will be right here on KBPK, live streamed with myself, Mark Pavlovich, and Joseph Pavlenko. We will be calling the game from House Sherbeck Field. So stay tuned right here to KBPK's YouTube page as we're going to have Football Fridays coming up this upcoming Friday at 3 p.m. as Fullerton College men's soccer is back in action. As for the next volleyball matchup that we're going to carry here on KBPK, we're going to let you know that October the 18th, that is a Wednesday at 6 p.m. against Saddleback. We will be right here back at the Hornet's Nest for women's volleyball here on KBPK. But if you want more women's volleyball content on KBPK, we remind you that our YouTube page, The Coaches Show, coming up in a couple of weeks, we're going to have some content, some interviews, and then also some highlights from the Fullerton College women's volleyball program. But that's coming up in the next couple of weeks right here on KBPK's YouTube page. So that's going to do it for us from the Hornet's Nest. I'm Ryan Osborne thanking all the CRTV 145 students for joining us here from the Hornet's Nest. Ryan Osborne, Corey Nalen, Mark Pavlovich, this has been Fullerton College Volleyball on KBPK.